So on the first day back to school, our teacher was asking us what we did this summer. And what do you do, Desmond? I play my drums every day. Haha, <laughs> good. And what do you do this summer, Brayton? I wanted to get better at fighting, so I picked up boxing. And guess what? I haven't lost a match yet. Haha, <laughs> good for you, Brayton. I bet you're gonna kick a lot of butt this year. Woo, I'm glad me and Brayton patched things up last year. During recess, we were playing tag on the jungle gym. As I was running, I heard somebody yell, and it was Brayton. Oh, uh, you stepped on my fingers. Yo, Brayton, it was an accident. I'm sorry. Nah, I don't wanna hear that. You lost my respect. Well, I mean, if you've seen us running around up here, why would you be hanging on the jungle gym? Oh, so now you want to get smart. I'm going to beat you up after school. Oh, my goodness. Here we go again. Come on, Brayton. We're in the eighth grade now. Can we just talk about this? He just looked at me and kept on walking. So can you guess what I did? I ran out to school when the bell rung. I never got my bike back from Brayton when he stole it last year, so I had to run all the way home. I guess I got to deal with another year of Brayton. So I decided that I wasn't going to run away from Brayton, but I can't lie, I was a little bit scared. I knew you wouldn't show up to fight me yesterday, little punk with your ugly red shirt. He does know that we all have to wear the same shirt, right? Oh yeah, you're a little bit new, so you don't even know. A couple of years ago, we were allowed to wear whatever we wanted, but some kids couldn't afford the best clothes. And we, I mean they, would get teased for it. Yo Desmond, I got one question. What are those? <laughs> I mean, really, look at your shoes, look at your pants, look at your shirt. Hey, hey, look at your shoes, look at your pants, look at your shirt. Everybody, come on, look, look at, at your shoes, shoes. Look, look at, at your pants, pants. Look, look at your shirt. Hey, hey, your whole fit is trash. It looks ridiculous. So what did the kids do about it? They did the only thing they could do. They told the principal, and the next year, we had to wear a uniform. Oh, so that's why we got to wear these red shirts. But I like that chin, though. How did it go? Look at your shoes. Look at your pants. Look at your shirt. I remember that. Look at your shoes. Look at your pants. Look at your shirt. So my middle school had this tall gate that surrounded the building. If you were playing outside, you weren't allowed near it, and definitely not on the other side. Well, one day during recess, I was playing the cat game, a game you go around searching for cute cats. The link to the game was on my page. When all of a sudden, my friend's eyes said, have you heard? Brain went on the other side. Nobody has ever gone on the other side, and I had to see it for myself. Sure enough, Brain was on the other side of the gate, looking crazy as I don't know what. And then he said, Desmond, I dare you to come to the other side. <gasps> At our school, you couldn't turn down a dare no matter how crazy it was. Fine, I'll do it. Brayton came back over and I went in. Say, it's kind of nice over here. Oh, teacher, teacher, Desmond's on the other side. No, are you crazy? No one's ever been on the other side. Yeah, huh? Brayton was over here first and then he dared me to. Now I know Brayton's not that crazy. Desmond, I'm calling your daddy. Oh, yeah. Oh. So by this age, I was really into music and I wanted to start my own singing group. So I held auditions to find three more singers. I found two really good singers and all I needed was one more. And what's your name? Brayton. I looked up and it was Brayton, the school bully. Brayton, you don't even know how to sing. I want to sing. And I was like, baby, 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 oh, baby, 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 no. I'm sorry, Brayton, but you can't be in my group. You better put me in the group or I'm gonna beat you up. <laughs> So at our first rehearsal, we were trying to come up with a group name. The group name should be Brayton and the Dum Dums. And since my name is Brayton, that makes me the lead singer. No, this is my group. The name of the group is Brayton and the Dum Dums. So it's my group. And y'all three are the Dum Dums. For the rest of the rehearsal, while we were practicing, Brayton was playing the cat game. A fun game that you can collect hundreds of cats on. The link to the game is on my page. Hey, Brayton, since this is your group, shouldn't you be practicing with us? I don't need to practice. And I don't like your attitude. You out the group. No! So ever since I was a kid, I had a habit of shaking my legs. Half of the times I didn't even notice that my legs were shaking, but other people started to notice and that's when the problem started. Teachers would ask me if I had to go to the bathroom. Um, Desmond, do you have to go to the bathroom? No, why? Uh, because your legs are shaking. Oh, it's just a habit. My parents started thinking that I was being disrespectful. I don't care, you're not going outside until you do that homework. <sighs> Oh, you trying to be smart? What did I do? You shaking your legs. Oh, you think you big now? No, dad, it's just a habit. Oh, so you think I'm stupid? But the worst person who noticed was Brayton. He noticed my legs were shaking in class, and he started a rumor that I brought a frog to school. Look, everybody, Desmond has a frog in his pants. Oh, I knew something funny was going on here. No, no, it's just a habit. I can't help it. No, 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 I'm not falling for that again. The principal is waiting. Ha, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so let me get this straight. You brought a frog to school? No, I just be shaking my legs. Well, Brayton said he saw this frog so you know what brain says goes i'm sorry that's what my ears is burning <laughs> no 
So yesterday, Brayton got me suspended for one day. And anytime I got suspended, I had to stay at my grandparents' house while my parents were at work. There wasn't a whole lot to do there. They only had basic cable, so I couldn't watch my favorite shows. The internet wasn't the best, so no YouTube. If I got hungry, they only had oodles and noodles. And sometimes the oodles and noodles was expired. 1992! These noodles are older than me! So all I could really do was play games on my phone. I was playing Cube Surfer, one of the funnest games ever, by the way. The link to the game is on my page. When all of a sudden, I got a text message from Brayton. The message said, wait, let me get my Brayton voice. Look what we're watching in class today. And then he sent me a video. I clicked on a video and my whole entire class was looking at the video of me getting beat up by Brayton. I could hear everybody laughing. Even the teacher was laughing. I couldn't believe it. I'm not even at school and Brayton's making a fool out of me. Look y'all, this is my favorite part. <laughs> ah! No, when I go back to school, I'm gonna be a laughing stock. <laughs> So on my first day back to school after my suspension, Brayton was already there starting. Oh, look who it is! Little Egghead! St -st Stuttering Stanley! There's someone out there being teased for now. Why you come back to school? Nobody missed you! And they need your help till the teacher now. Those stairs mean nothing to me! Uh, huh. Don't try to make somebody sad. Get out my face! Don't make somebody stay back Why you taking up for him though? Don't try to make somebody cry Brain do what he want Don't make somebody hurt inside Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Ain't nobody Don't make me mad So one day our class was going on a field trip to a museum. We were put into groups and of course I was in Brayton's group. Our teacher told us to look after one another so that no one would get lost. I could see Brayton grinning and I knew he was up to something. Anyways, the museum was so fun. There were so many cool things to see but I couldn't wait to see the dinosaurs. All of a sudden Brayton said to me, we're going to see the dinosaur bones, hurry up. I was so excited and I followed him. I realized he was lying when I looked around and I was all alone. Getting lost during a field trip was one of my biggest fears ever. I looked at my phone and I had no service. I'm all alone. How are they gonna find me? No, I'm gonna be trapped here forever. I was freaking out, but then I remembered that I had the Calm app, an app that helps you relax and release stress. The link to the app is on my page. I calmed down and found a security guard who brought me back to my group. You're in big trouble, Desmond. Brain said you ran off and we were looking all over for you. <laughs> you cannot come to the next trip. <laughs> So most people don't know that Yermi Yermi had a real job. He used to work at my school. Sometimes he'll be picking up trash or wiping down the jungle gym. And he was also the crossing guard. Yeah, come on! But Yermi Yermi started doing things that ultimately got him fired. Like instead of cleaning the jungle gym, he was playing on it. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about, yeah! Or when he was helping kids cross the street, he started asking them for $5. Hey, young bud, let me hold $5. $5? Final straw was when the principal found Yermi Yermi in the bushes. Yermi Yermi, I've been looking all over for you. What are you doing in the bushes? Oh, I'm just playing this new SpongeBob game. I'm having a cook off. Oh, I see. But I'm glad you're having fun because guess what? You're fired! So, no five dollars? You'll get your last paycheck in a week. Yermi Yermi tried to catch the principal, but he got away. Next time I see you, I want my five dollars! Then he went back into the bushes to play the SpongeBob game. So when school was over, everyone used to play around in the school parking lot. We were tossing a football around, and when I threw it, it hit Brayton. Who hit me with something? Of course, everyone pointed at me. Brayton walked up to me and punched me in the face. Hey, man, you don't got to punch people like that. Yermi Yermi came out the bushes and walked up to Brayton. Man, if you don't get out of here, Yermi Yermi. Leave, Yermi Yermi. I don't want you to get hurt. Hey, chill, young buck. I'm just going to talk to him real quick. Talk? There's no talking to Brayton, and Yermi Yermi was about to find out. I think you need to learn how to keep your hands to your suit. Brayton punched Yermi Yermi right in his face. Oh, what he hit me with? His fist. Hey, that's what I thought. Yermi Yermi passed out on the ground. Oh, yeah, I'm bad. Psst, Yermi Yermi, pretend that Brayton owes you $5. Oh, you messed up now. I ain't scared of you. Uh, too slow. Man, you better go and get my money. Yeah. Woo, $5. $5. Yeah. We gave Yermi Yermi an applause and walked home. Yeah.
Brayden was a bully at school because he was bullied at home. His oldest brother, Ethan, always messed with him. Give me that toy. That toy is mine now. No, I had it first. Who you talking to, little boy? Anytime Brayden would get something new, Ethan would take it. Brayden, what's that? It's my new push-up toy. Mom and dad bought it for me. Oh, yeah, it is your birthday. Well, give it to me. It's my toy now. Oh, yeah, this thing works. I'm strong now. Brayden's life was so bad that he created a new life on this new game. You can build your own mansion, talk to new people, and just do whatever you want on this game. The link to the game is on my page. That game was the only thing keeping Brayton happy. Oh, what game are you playing? Ethan took Brayton's phone and deleted his game. Oh, why you do that? Uh, what you gonna do about it? Well, since I can't beat you up, I'm gonna beat people up at school. And that's why Brayton's the school bully. So one day we were in class learning about black history. The presence of African Americans in major motion pitch roles has stirred controversy since Haiti McDaniel. Hey, Desmond. There's something about you that I just don't like. I don't like you. Leave me alone, Brayton. I'm trying to pay attention. Guess what, Desmond? You got an egghead. Brayton, leave me alone! Oh, since you like speaking out, tell me something about the old Hollywood. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, I can tell you something about the old Hollywood. Due to racial discrimination, Hollywood avoided using African-American actors and actresses. That's right, Brayton. At least somebody's listening. The company started creating networks with TV shows and movies that feature more African-Americans. Correct. Networks like BET and Urban Flix TV. Wait, what's Urban Flix TV? It's an app that's just like Netflix, but it features majority African-Americans. The link to the app is on my TikTok page. I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to the teacher. Since you think you know so much, Desmond, here's a pop quiz. Brayton, you don't got to take it. Huh? Oh, yeah. So at a young age, I was really into music and I built my own recording studio. I was recording a lot of people from school and they told everyone that I had the best studio. Brayton the school bully came up to me and said, So I heard you had the best recording studio. Yeah, I do. It's pretty nice. Look, I'll stop being mean to you if you teach me how to record. Woo, you got yourself a deal. Meet me at my house after school. I didn't know why Brayton wanted me to teach him, but if it meant him not being mean to me anymore, I'll do it. Hi, Desmond. I'm ready to learn. So the first thing I did was explain what everything was in my studio. And Brayton was catching on fast. Is this the auto-tune button? Yeah, it is. Ooh, let me try it. Thank you for teaching me what you know. Now I can't start my own studio. Everyone's gonna be at my door. No one's gonna come here no more. Thank you for teaching me. What happened to the auto-tune? You had me teach you so you can start your own studio? Yup, and I'm gonna run you out of business. <laughs>